Hello and welcome to today's unboxing of the 10.5 inch iPad Pro. So we're going to be unboxing this tablet. I bought it this afternoon. I've actually just taken off the shrink wrap. Um, those of you watching on the live chat have actually just seen this, but do a due to a technical mishap. Um, we're kind of doing a do over at this point, but I guarantee you this is a new unit. We're also going to be doing some brief comparisons with my trusty 9.7 inch iPad Pro right here. We're probably not going to be able to get as far as the actual setup of all the apps and everything unless you guys in the live stream are willing to just sit around for you know, 20 to 30 minutes while this, uh, this iPad Pro restores from backup. But if you are watching this live, there is a live chat. I'll be able to respond to any of your questions and comments. Um, and I will um, do my best to answer any quick questions you have about my first impressions of this device. But let's get this open. So we've got the shrink wrap already. So let's just kind of get this nice vacuum seal unsealed. Oh boy, come on. You know, they make these so tight fitting that it's actually sort of like a, like a sarcophagus. Uh, how is everyone doing, by the way, tonight? We got some people from Switzerland, from Australia, from the UK, all here to watch me fiddle around with this packaging and I actually don't have an excuse this time. Normally my excuse is the camera is right in front of my face, but today we're doing this from overhead. So, oh, look at that. Okay. So it's just like a black slate, like 2001 A Space Odyssey. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so we have our card here designed by Apple in California. We have our 12 watt, I believe 12 watts uh, power adapter. That's right, 12 watt power adapter. Now, if you ever try to charge an iPad from an iPhone power adapter, you'll know that it takes several hours if it even works at all. So you definitely want that. Then we got another lightning cable and that's it actually. So, you know, there is actually a fair amount of volume of this box, which is just this insert here. Hopefully it's all recyclable. I believe it is. Well, that was a pretty easy unboxing. I got to say, apart from that initial issue of getting the box open, I have actually also got here the smart keyboard. I actually already opened this up because I don't think it's the most interesting thing in the world to unbox the keyboard. But I don't know, let me know in the comments if you had wanted to see me unbox the uh, keyboard as well. Mea culpa. So, let's open this packaging. And we got this here. And again, if you're watching this in the live chat, if you have any questions that jump to mind about the iPad, I'll do my best, though the chat does scroll at a certain speed, so forgive me if I miss your message. But here is the device. Let's see if it's got a bit of a charge. Otherwise, we're just gonna look at a big black obelisk. There we go. I went with a space gray color this time because as much as I like my rose gold iPad, which I have here, my 9.7 inch iPad Pro, I was always a little annoyed about the color matching between the 9.7, the rose gold, and this smart keyboard. And as you can see here, you know, this is a well-loved iPad, a fair few dents. Um, so let's flip this open. And I just want to give you a comparison of the screen sizes. Now, obviously the bezel colors are different, but hopefully you can see that the dimensions of this device are slightly different. You can see that the 10.5 inch is actually slightly longer and perhaps slightly wider. So it's extended in all dimensions, but not by a great deal. Probably um, what's made the biggest difference to allow this big screen size is the very 
significant shrinking of the bezels here. So you can see that big difference in the bezels, really quite nice. That's actually one of the big reasons why I decided to upgrade. Now, um, just looking at the specs alone, I don't necessarily think that every 9.7 inch iPad owner should automatically upgrade to a 10.5 inch. Uh, I'm, I'm very fortunate in the position where once I sell this iPad, the ad revenue I get from interest in the 10.5 inch iPad, totally honest, totally putting that out there, but by making these videos, it will pay for the difference uh, between these two devices after selling this device. So obviously, you know, I'm not rolling in it from the YouTube monies, but it is enough for me to make buying this kind of thing a sort of no brainer. Let's check in with the chat to see how you guys are all going. Enrico asks, does the small bezel mean that your hand will cover part of the screen just by holding it? Well, that's a very good question and something that we can definitely answer without setting it up. So you can see here, this is sort of a comfortable position um, for my thumbs. So that's how I would usually hold it. Now, my uh, the edge of my thumbs is touching the screen slightly, so it will be interesting to see if there is some kind of thumb rejection so that that doesn't necessarily trigger anything. There's plenty of room on the sides to hold it like this, but I don't know what will happen holding it by this edge, whether or not that will touch the screen. So that's a good question. Um, and that's something I'm gonna be able to answer once I've got a bit more experience um, with this iPad. Let's see how far we can get in the setup before I have to give away any sort of personally identifiable information. Okay, here's something really, really noticeable that I've just noticed, uh, and this will probably not turn up on the camera, but I'm just gonna make a note of it. The scrolling performance of this iPad is better than the 9.7 inch. I can see that because usually when I scroll through a list of text like this on the 9.7 inch, uh, there's a bit of a jelly kind of effect. Um, I don't know if it's the LCD uh, pixel response time that causes that, or it's the refresh rate, but I do know that the new 10.5 inch iPad Pros have a 120 hertz dynamic refresh rate screen. So that may be the reason. I'm probably not gonna be able to show you the effect of this uh, on camera, but believe me, it, it feels noticeable um, when I use it, just based on my um, experience with the 9.7 inch. Again, it's not a, it's not a huge difference. I, I never thought that this was a bad display on this. Adam says the 9.7 inch looks small side by side. And you know what? It's, it's a subtle difference, but at the same time, it does make the screen feel a little more immersive. And I gotta say that the screen, there's a little more, um, just, just straight, just straight off the top of my head, just my impressions of this screen. Um, number one, the maximum brightness on this, on this screen is way higher. I don't know if you can see that on the video, but it's very noticeable to me um, in person. The brightness on the screen is quite a bit higher on the new 10.5 inch, which is really nice. The screen also feels more, I don't know how to put it, it just feels more punchy. And it might have something to do with the wider color gamut of the new screen. So the new 10.5-inch uh, iPad Pro uses a wider color gamut. All right, well, that's it for today's unboxing. Now I'm gonna take this and set it up properly, and then we're gonna be able to do some more videos um, with some comparisons between these two devices. Again, what I'd like to do is I'd like to be able to make a video about what it's like editing video on this 10.5-inch iPad Pro. I also wanna do a uh, video comparing the keyboards between these two devices and let me know in the comments um, if there's any other sort of video comparison that you'd like me to do or any questions you'd like me to answer I'm very kind of keen to answer those questions and uh, if you want to see those future videos subscribe to this channel leave a like if you enjoyed the video and see ya